Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Will and I'm an RN and I work in the emergency department. Today I wanted to go over something that we see quite a bit and that's DKA. So this is going to be a brief overview. Um, it's going to be something good. If you don't know anything about DKA, it's going to give you a handle on it. However, if you're like in nursing school and you're looking to pass a test just by watching this video, you might want to move on, okay? Alright, so DKA is diabetic ketoacidosis. And what that is, it's a high level of blood sugar in a person's body. It's usually in top one diabetics. And you often see this when they aren't really compliant with their insulin, they're not taking it like they should. Maybe they're eating cheeseburgers two times a day, something like that. Or you see it in people who have some kind of concurrent illness, right? So they've got a type of infection going on somewhere. You see it in heart attack patients too. So just because you see DKA, you don't think, oh, that's their only problem. Maybe they have something else. Maybe they're septic or having an MI. Okay, so why is their blood sugar so high? Well, the pancreas produces this hormone called insulin. This is going to be super brief, okay? Insulin puts sugar into the cell. It's not working properly, so they have high levels of blood sugar. That's, that's, all, that's all you need to know. Okay, so you know what it is. Now, let's kind of go through what a person looks like. What do they present with? So we're thinking symptoms, and there's three symptoms that I think about when I think of DKA, stuff I learned in nursing school. Um, I think of polyphagia, polydipsia, polyuria, the three P's, okay? Um, polyphagia, that is like just an increased hunger. These people are always hungry, and it's important to note that these people are hungry not because like their stomach's empty, they haven't eaten in a long time, it's because the cell is starving. The cell is starving because there's no sugar getting into it. So they're hungry all the time and they're eating which raises that sugar even more, right? Um, they're also, uh, we talked about polydipsia. Polydipsia is an increased thirst. And that is due to polyuria. Polyuria is peeing a lot. The body's trying to compensate for this elevated glucose. And they're trying to pee it out. Your body's trying to pee it out. They're gonna be peeing a lot. Because they're losing all this fluid volume, they're gonna be drinking, trying to replenish it. By the way, how many times did I say peeing in that last clip? Had to have been at least five, right? Okay, so some other symptoms, and this is probably the most important to know, is that they're going to be dehydrated, okay? Um, like I said, they're peeing a lot, losing a lot of fluid volume. Um, so that's one of the more important things to correct in DKA is their dehydration. So when you think of dehydrated, you think of dry mucous membranes, right? Um, their saliva, their mouth is going to be dry. Their pulse, if you feel it, it's not going to be that bounding pulse. It's kind of going to be a little weak. Okay, they might be a little hypotensive, which means they have a low blood pressure. They might have a little tachycardia, high heart rate. Um, all those things go along with dehydration, and it's important to know the symptoms of that and recognize it, okay? We want to know how dehydrated they are. Um, is it severe? Is it just mild? What are they? All right, so these people are also going to have abdominal pain, all right? They're going to be cramping. Their stomach's going to be hurting. The reason for this is their body's pH is actually dropping into a more acidic level. Um, the reason for that is because the cell is not getting any sugar from the body. Insulin's not going, it's not putting sugar inside the cell. So what they're doing is the body's breaking down fats to create energy, okay? A byproduct of this fat breakdown is called ketones. This is important to note, it's the key to DKA. Um, but it's breaking down ketones, which is acidic. So they're going to have an acidic state in their body, which is pH below 7.35. So they're going to have the abdominal pain, and also they're going to be... They're going to be breathing like they just run a marathon, okay? This is called Kussmaul's Respirations. I'm not even sure that's spelled right, okay? But this is a very good NCLEX-style question, if you just want to remember Kussmaul's Respirations with DKA. Um, they're breathing off CO2. CO2 is acidic, so if you breathe it off, it's going to raise the pH. That's a body uh, compensation mechanism, okay? That's the body trying to compensate for the acidity that it's currently had, it's currently got because of the ketone breakdown. So they've got the Kussmaul's respirations, the abdominal pain, they're dehydrated, the three P's, right? Um, so that's kind of what a patient's going to look like uh, in DKA. Okay, so we know what a patient in DKA looks like. Now what do they look like on paper? And by that, I mean like what do their labs look like? Like I said, the pH is going to be low because they're acidic. Their body is in an acidic state. 
you know, acidosis, diabetic ketoacidosis. It's in the name, it's in acidity. So it's less than 7.35 and they're also going to have ketones in the urine or their serum. Very important to note, okay, because that kind of makes or breaks the EKA. They have to have ketones. Um, their blood sugar is going to be over 250 um, if they're in DKA. There's a correlation between potassium and insulin. So something that you also need to look at on these lab results is the potassium level. Um, they might have a high potassium level coming in, but if you start to administer insulin to treat the DKA, it's going to drop the potassium level because insulin not only does it put sugar inside the cell, but it also puts potassium inside the cell. And you're going to have to watch the levels on that because if their potassium gets too low, um, that can cause some serious problems. And one of them is like a cardiac arrhythmia, okay? And you don't want that. So watch the potassium. Keep a heads up on people. If you're looking at the potassium level and you're thinking two steps down the road, you know, you're doing a great job nursing or whatever it is that you're doing. All right, guys, so we know that their pH is going to be low, their blood sugar is going to be high. We're watching that potassium to make sure it doesn't go too low. We know they have ketones in their urine or in their serum, in the blood levels. So let's get into the good stuff now, right? And that's treatment. How are you going to treat these people? And just common sense, just think, they're dehydrated. What are we going to do? We're going to give them a bag of fluid, some type of isotonic fluid. Uh, we do 0.9% uh, normal saline, and that's what we give. We give them in a bolus, uh, get them hydrated. Um, obviously, once again, common sense here, if they're hyperglycemic, they have a high blood sugar level, they need insulin. So we're going to give them insulin to treat this, okay? And most likely it's going to be an insulin drip, probably going to put them in the ICU, but we're going to give them fluids, we're going to give them insulin. What did I say earlier? If you're given insulin, that tends to decrease the potassium level. Don't be surprised if you see potassium ordered just as a prophylactic measure to combat any kind of hypokalemia, okay? So we're gonna watch that, but those are kind of the three basic treatments. You're gonna give them fluids, you're gonna give them insulin, and you're not gonna let them get hypokalemic. Okay guys, that's a brief overview of DKA. Um, obviously as a nurse, there's some things that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind, right? You're gonna be doing the hourly blood sugar checks, especially if they're on an insulin drip. Uh, you wanna know what that blood sugar is doing. That was, my, that was my dog, Ollie, right there. Um, you're gonna wanna know what the blood sugar's doing. Uh, you wanna keep them hydrated, and anytime you're giving that much fluid, check their eyes and nose, okay? Always document how much is going out and how much is going in. Okay, you wanna make sure that you don't have three liters in them and they've still not peed, okay? So, watch that. Um, obviously, if you're giving potassium, and I don't know if this is a nationwide protocol or not, but anytime I give potassium, they're on a cardiac monitor um, just because of what it can do to the heart, okay? And you wanna keep a look at that rhythm and make sure that everything's good or good there. So hourly blood sugar checks, you're keeping them hydrated, watch the INOs. And knowing all of that stuff is kinda of gonna get you started and able to treat patients in DKA, okay? You're not gonna know everything, but you're gonna have a handle on it. And it's stuff that you can, anything else you can pick up on your own, you can study more. If you're looking to pass a test, you need to be studying anyways. Um, don't be watching no five minute video on YouTube and try to pass the test, right? Um, so I hope that was an informative video. If you had no idea what DKA was, hopefully you watched this and you think you got a pretty good handle on it. You can go hit the books and learn some more. Um, if you're watching this video just for, as a refresher, I, I hope this was refreshing and brought up some stuff that maybe you forgot about or anything like that you know i hope it was a good video for you all right guys thanks for watching this video uh leave it a thumbs up if you like it comment down below if there's something maybe i left out maybe something you want to see in the future um i'm not a huge detail oriented guy I'm never going to go into too much detail um i kind of just want the broad picture i want to know what it is that we're treating and i want to know how to treat it okay so that's kind of the videos that i'll make if that's your speed hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week, okay? Um, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.